birthday, Sarita. Congratulations on being Miss Universe Cambodia 2020. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for spending your precious time being here as well. Oh, I'm so excited in meeting you. So tell me a little bit about the competition and give me a little bit the inside behind the scene because people think that you just arrive and you just start, to, you know, like, um, you know, do the swimsuit and then the evening gown, but there's rehearsal, right? Rehearsal, a lot of choreography you have to learn. So please tell us a little bit what it's like. It takes about two weeks, right? Uh, yes, uh, indeed. It was around 10 days and you know, right now, actually, the competition has uh, been done already, and it felt everything felt so quick. So I arrived in the United States on the 23rd, which is you know late April, and uh, the reason why I came a little bit earlier because I want to get over jet lag because I know myself, I know I know my body, I know my health. So the competition. Um, which ended the finals on the 16th of May. Everyone was super lovely. Everyone was just super different. We got to know each other. I made a lot of friends and I became very close with a few uh, from Miss Cameroon and from France. Uh, everything was super hectic and what you see on screen is just perfect, amazing, beautiful because everyone uh, has put so much work in it. Um, but yeah, like, at the same time during this trip I was able to meet a lot of our Cambodians uh, from different states. I have been traveling a lot. Thank you to uh, Miss Universe as well because without it I wouldn't be able to be here and meeting, even talking to you right now here in the US. <laughs> now when you arrive in Florida, did you feel like the weather was kind of back home similar to in Cambodia? That's the question I have received many, many, many times. Yes, the moment I was arrived in Florida, I felt like home. It was far, the timing was really different, but I felt like home, exactly the same. Now, during those the 10 days, you, know, you have to learn the, all the choreography, yes. like because you have to know where to stand on the stage and which way to go the and all that. The position of the camera, how many steps, where to stop. So everything was detailed, everything was well prepared. Every girls, all the girls, they work so hard. They wake up super early, I would say 4.30. Some even wake up like four in the morning, just, you know, to prepare themselves. They sleep really late at night, around like one. It's just, it's a very fun experience. It's like a once in a lifetime experience. But it, how when you walk out there on stage, what is it like to represent Cambodia on such a world stage? As you know, Miss Universe is a very big stage. It's a global uh, competition where every year we have over 500 million viewers every time. Uh, we are the fourth representative of Cambodia, so I would say there is nothing more proud that you know me as a person from Cambodia standing on an international stage representing Cambodia. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't be more proud than that. Now I read your bio on the Miss Universe website and you are such an accomplished person. You know, you have um, in, uh, uh, appeared in so many uh, films. And uh, please tell us a little bit about some of those <laughs> films. So uh, if you look into the bio of Miss Universe, I have played over 10 films, different kinds of films, feature films, short films, series, web series. Um, it's what I am very passionate about back home and um, I'm looking forward to transition myself to become one of, uh, you know, a very, I would say well-known film director because, you know, Cambodia, we're very new as well and we don't really see much female film directors and I'm hoping in the future I could transition myself that and also during this trip in the United States I was able to introduce myself to many producers, directors, people in the industry, who I am, what I'm doing at the moment. So hopefully Cambodia, not just as Miss Cambodia, but hopefully in the near future, me as Miss Cambodia, Sarita Red will be also become an international actress. Yes. And you are I would say are you an 
like an expert on the Cambodian martial art? But uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I am trained. This is what I'm passionate about. And thanks to the film industry, it made me become even more interested about it. And I just want to put that martial arts of ours called Bok Pao to be even more well known on an international stage. That is why I'm very fond of this and I'm looking forward to go back home and be even more well trained than this. So are you looking forward to maybe appear in more films? Yes, yes, yes. that is correct. Yes. And going back home, I have been working on uh, a lot of things and that I cannot wait to show you. Uh, mainly to focus on women empowerment and I will be producing a few different contents. Looking forward to share to everyone of you out there. Now, um, did you get to meet all of the contestants from the Miss Universe? All yes. of the, all 74? All 74 <laughs> Miss Universe contestants. Uh, it was very difficult for us to uh, meet because everyone has different schedule. But yes, we were able to meet them during like uh, you know, meal time, breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's how we got to introduce ourselves. And who was your roommate? My roommate is Miss Haiti. Oh, did you Lovely. have you reached out to her lately? Yes, of course. We talk very often on social media. Yeah, yes. because you know what's going on in her, in her country I right know. now. I'm I hope she's sad. safe. Yes, and, yes, yes. Uh, very sad about. Uh, it's such a sad news for Haiti. Uh, which you know, sending my condolences to the president as well, the, his family. So yes, my prayers to them and the whole Haiti, the whole country. Yeah. So thank you so much, Sarita. I'm thank so you. happy that you are, you are the perfect you know uh, ambassador to represent the kingdom of Cambodia. I think you thank make you. all Cambodian all over the world proud. Thank you. Thank yeah. And the best of luck to you and, and your future. And I. You know, you remind me of the American actress, uh, Maggie Q. Oh, you know, you're yeah. the first person to say that. I'm such a huge fan of her. Yeah, because you know, you uh, said you like the Cambodian martial art, yes. and she's, you know, started her career in yes, in this yes, kind of, you know, her. yeah. She's one of my icons. So. Yeah, so you, you remind me of her, Maggie Q. So you'll be, maybe you'll be our the Cambodian, Cambodian Maggie Q. Yes, yes. Maggie Q. <laughs> you know, like the Nikita fame. Yes. yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sarita. Best of luck to you and have a safe trip back home. And, thank you. You know, all the best to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Thank you. Yeah.